Hello, I'm Dennis Cometti. You're here, I'm here, and now it's time for Friday Night Football. Well, you may not have asked for it, but it's flawless weather here in Perth. Accompanying me is Matthew Richardson. Thanks, Dennis. Expecting some really special stuff out here today. Today's duel is between the Eagles and Hawthorne. The batters look great as the players get set to run through them. We have the toss of the coin. West Coast kicking with the wind in this opening turn. This match sees one team from within the eight go up against one outside the eight. In the minds of many, I guess, the result of this match is already decided. Just waiting for the opening siren now. Here we go. It's West Coast versus the Hawks. Handball finds Schellenmakers. Duggan marks it. Boots it. Good mark by Kennedy. Going for goal number one. Kennedy sinks it from a long way out. That's his first. The Eagles take the first goal. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. The bounce is straight up and down. McAvoy thumps it forward. Able to grab it on the half volley. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. He's got the footy in his hands. Roughhead has it. A routine, strictly speaking, is not a routine if you have to think about it. Going for goal number one. He's having a ball, if you'll excuse the pun. Hawthorne slot their first one. Roughhead, he's good, but he doesn't always find that best option while in congestion. Clean tap by McAvoy. Sockers the ball away. The ball picked up. Kennedy closes him down. Dishes it off to the running player. Approaching the goals now. Cripps made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. Durade, I have no idea how you managed to get that out. Kennedy takes a shot. Kennedy scores with a beautiful kick. That's his second. The Eagles by a goal. Umpire has the ball, ready for the center bounce. Lysette well, got a fist on it. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Quick hands find the running player. The ball bounced to the advantage of the opposition. As cool as a prize marrow as he lines up for this shot. 65 meters out. Distance could be the problem. Nice hands. 35 meters out. I set going for number one. Gets the distance. The Eagles have scored the last two goals. Pressure really being applied now at this early stage to the Hawks. McAvoy is really good at getting up in the ruck, but his directional taps need some more work. Puts boot to ball. Puopolo picks up the ball. Rough head with the football. Ball up cool. McAvoy gets onto the ball. A short handball. Slots it. Shields kicks his first. The Hawks trailing by less than two goals. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. And there's the bounce. One down by McAvoy. Casanova would have been jealous of that pickup. Dishes it off to the running player. McGinnis handball's short. Darling can read the play really well. I think he's definitely on his way to becoming one of the best in the league. That's an elite skill handballing when being tackled. McInnes hand passes the ball. Burgoyne blocks it. 90 seconds to go. Bruce has the football. Bruce puts it through. We're all tied up. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. Here's the bounce. McAvoy with the first touch. Vardy did not ease up. He's got the footy in his hands. 
Lobs the pass. No, that's just giving the ball away. Sends the Sharon on its way. Darling, the better man there. He kicks quickly. He's no oil painting, but look at him climbing the pack like a pop-up toaster. O'Meara wears his heart on his sleeve and he just bleeds for this footy club. McInnes passes it. Now he's asked for it back. His approach looks good. Show and makers. Kicks for goal. Goal for the Hawks. Hawthorne up by one goal. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. McAvoy with the first touch. Handball short. He's racking up possessions. Gaff grabs that one. Kicks. And the mark will be paid. He kicks it. Wellingham. Scores are so close, every move counts now. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce, knocks it down in front. The loose ball scooped up. It's impossible to outplay an opponent you can't outthink. Think about that. Gathered by McAvoy. McAvoy is really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. Lie set with the tap. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Punched by Lysette. Gets the loose ball. Kennedy lobs the pass. Approaching the goals now. Lysette lining up. 65 metres out. Takes that one strongly. Perfect kick. Good things coming through as that's his third. West Coast with a marginal one goal lead. There's the siren for the end of the quarter. The scores at West Coast, 30 to Hawthorne, 24. They have been pretty wasteful in this match, and if they lose, they will look back and rue the missed opportunities. That was a high-scoring quarter. Let's check out the stats. Marks are fairly close on the scoreboard with the Eagles on eight and the Hawks on two. Thanks for that, Richard. Quick break and we're back at it. Winning means you're willing to go longer, work harder and give more than anyone else. Gathered by Eo. Burgoyne takes him down but the kick is away. Vardy collects it. He gains possession. She's running hot, Richo. Yes, he's had it again, Dennis. He just seems to be everywhere tonight. Show and makers racking up the possessions. Tackle but gets the handball off. Shields shoots off the handball. McAvoy kicks it just in time. Scoops up the bouncing ball. Gains possession. He seems to have the ball on a string, Richo. Well, Dennis, I just think he's having fun with them now. Smith scoring from a long bomb. He sinks his first goal. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Good bounce. McAvoy knocks it down the field. Vardy, he's creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. Cleanly tapped out of the ruck. Schoenmakers gains the loose ball. Schoenmakers puts his boot on it. Rough head with great hands. He doesn't want to take too long lining this shot up. Rough head goes for goal. It's on its way. Rough head. Wonderful goal. Umpire has the ball. Ready for the centre bounce. McAvoy with the tap. Cripps collects it. Kicks hurriedly. Lysette, a good crummer. Kennedy hand passes the ball to the runner going past. Collected by Virtual. A lot of possessions for him. Duraid has the ball. And he's heading for home. This could see the scores even. Goal for goal now. Kennedy has some great leadership skills. And leadership is about getting other players involved and being able to take it as well as dishing it out. The only way you're going to get respect from your teammates. Well, it could be worse, I suppose, Richard. He might as well have just dropped the ball on the ground, Dennis. But he has it. Choose to kick it. The opposition forgot about him, and he takes the easy mark. A big run to take that mark. Shields slams it on the boot. 
Wins the hardball. Sicily has no trouble getting up on top of the packs, but sometimes he just can get his timing wrong. If he doesn't lift, I think it'll come to the stage where the coach will ask him to be a bit more disciplined in the contest. McAvoy punches it. Hurt with no time to delay with that kick. Schoenmakers finds his man on the move. Umpire not having a bar of that and signalling for a ball up. McAvoy taps it. Kicks hurriedly. Controlled by Darling. Schofield gets the hand pass. He's racking up possessions. Mitchell with a chance if he keeps a cool head. 65 metres out. Jams it on the boot. Steady hands there as he holds that one. 25 metres out. Golden opportunity here. Ruffhead whacks one on the boot for goal. Hawthorne had one to their tally. Only one goal the difference. The Hawks can't afford to get too comfortable here. Roughhead can be very consistent. He does still need to do some more work to make sure he brings his A game to every match. Strong mark. Duggan boots it. Couldn't complete the mark. Intercepted. Intercepted by Kennedy. This kick to square it up. Look at that. He's put it through. Kennedy getting some decent goal stats on the sheet. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. More bounce than a dodgy check. Tapped by Trulli. Grips with the tackle. He gains possession. He gets his hands on the footy. Shields with the pass. Going for goal number one. That shot wasn't meant to hit the fan. Ball over the boundary line. Hearn kicks hard along the boundary line. The Rats has it. Nice drop punt. He gets above the crowd. You know more about him than me, Richo. Reckon he can bag this one? Not a chance, Dennis. Grips with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. He gets tackled as he hands it off. He's running in now. He kicks it. I see it, but I don't believe it. Sharon Makers with his second goal. Hawthorne by six points. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Frawley looked about as coordinated as Disney's Goofy. Chips it down towards half forward. There's been a lot to enjoy in the second quarter. The scores are Hawthorne 48, West Coast 42. West Coast just struggling at the moment to get anything right. A lack of quality finishing and some poor decision making keeping them behind in this one. Richo, what do the stats tell us? The stats show that both teams are practically kick for kick with neither willing to let the other have a kicking advantage. In terms of marking, neither team looks to have an advantage over the other. Thank you very much, Richo. It's half time and no doubt the coach will want to have a chat to his team about their first half performance. The third quarter has begun. You can motivate by fear and you can motivate by reward. But both those methods are only temporary. The only lasting thing is self-motivation. Big thumb from McAvoy. Hastily kicked. He hand passes the ball. Squeezes out a handball. Darling went straight through him. His tackle is slipped. Slams it on the boot. Solid as a rock and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. Great mark under pressure. Sends it on its way. Manages to keep the ball alive. He tried and he failed. We'll have a throw in. The boundary umpire has called for the footy. Claimed by McAvoy. The loose ball picked up by Gaff. Dowling with the football. It's like he has the ball on a string. Sweeping handball. The ball bounced to the advantage of the opposition. Burgoyne tackles. A mark by Willingham. 30 metres out. Now even Pythagoras would have trouble working out these angles. Wellingham manages to sneak it through. Goal for goal now. The Ruckman conscious of where their teammates are. They wait for the bounce. McAvoy with first hands to the ball. Gets boot to leather. Strong mark. Yo, he's pretty good at hangers. He just needs to work on getting some more height if he really wants to master the skill. Smith gets the ball. Mitchell with the football. Mitchell giving away a free. Puts boot to ball. Darling takes a contested mark. Puts boot to ball. Lysette takes the mark. 
He's a long way from home, but he's a chance. Lecrac made a simple attempt at a mark. Looks like a Mr. Bean Christmas special. Time drying up with only two minutes to go. Kicked a goal by Lecrac. The Eagles by a goal. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. And there's the bounce. Good tap from Schellenmakers. Burgoyne pushes in the back like an old lady poking her umbrella at a wasp's nest. Well done to keep it alive under pressure. Couldn't pull it off. We'll have a throw in. The umpire's throw is a good one. Schoenmakers is a class above. I expect he'll continue to dominate Lysette. He controls the bouncing ball. He gets the hand pass. They can't seem to maintain possession. They simply handed it over. Tackled by Shields. Burgoyne handles short. 90 seconds to go. Roost with the running catch. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. Yet another possession. Kicked by Darling. Marks. Be decisive. Come on, be decisive. A wrong decision is generally less disastrous than indecision. Kennedy takes a shot. Kennedy goes goalward. It's true. The Eagles with a two-goal margin at the moment. Kennedy is one of the most astute decision makers in the game. Footy is becoming more and more a thinking game, and you can't be out there purely on physical ability. He's a great asset to his club. Lecrac picks up the loose ball. Run control to Major Tom. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Booted by Fritz. The contest, no match for him. The Eagles put dominating in the air and the scoreboard reflects it. Duggan kicks it. Great move to be able to work into an uncontested position. He gets boot to the ball. Takes that one strongly. Chips it down towards half forward. Bruce gathers it. He hand passes the ball. He runs for the goal. He kicks it. Crawley. He sinks his first goal. The Hawks trailing, but they can still easily catch up from here. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Good tap from Schellenmakers. Dowling for the short hand pass. Shuey got caught with his hands in the cookie jar. Kicks into the forward line. Richo, what do you think about the quarter we just watched? They're in front and they deserve to be in front. They stepped up in all areas and really made their opposition look second rate. The third quarter ends with some high scoring on the board. Time to check those stats. The tackling abilities on display from both sides appear close on the scoreboard with West Coast on 50 and Hawthorne on 46. You could slip a bit of paper in between these two teams on the marking stats. They're really that close. Cheers, Richard. The final term has commenced. What makes something special is not just what you have to gain, but what you feel there is to lose. That play is as high-tech as a campfire. And the mark will be paid. Concentration comes out of a combination of confidence and hunger. So they tell me. Having a big day going for goal number four. That's two in a row for the Hawks. Goal for goal now. Umpire has the ball ready for the centre bounce. Guided by McAvoy, controlled by Vardy. The ball in the hands of Mitchell. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. Shields holds his breath like David Blaine as he watches this one. The Hawks by a point. Not much on offer for Shepard. Marks. Word is this guy is the most reliable kick for goal in the side. Going for goal number one. Goal to Hawthorne. The Hawks on seven points. All is in readiness. The ball has been bounced. The Hawks are dominating the clearances and really giving their forwards plenty of opportunity. And I think that's why they've got the lead. McAvoy punches. Frawley gains possession. Frawley throws it clear as day. My goodness, the wee ball has gone so high there'll be snow on that one when it comes down. It's been intercepted by the opposition. Duray collects it. Head down now as he goes in for the goal. Takes it well. Takes his time as he lines up for goal. It's okay to have butterflies. Just get them in flying formation. 
Hill executes the goal well. West Coast only trailing by less than a goal. Hill is just so gifted. Either side of the body, he's a champion. Guided by McAvoy. He controls the bouncing ball. He picks up the loose ball. Boots it. Duggan claims the ball. Duggan has shown a lot of character with his recent performances. Darling lining up with the goals. Strong mark there. Just two minutes left. Nice mark there. My goodness, the wee ball has gone so high, there'll be snow on that one when it comes down. That decision was like taking a beer to a job interview. Not a very good idea. Ruffett getting into position for the kick. The ball is hammered towards goal by Ruffett. The Hawks by seven points. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Claimed by McAvoy. Frawley gets it on the bounce. Lysette is streaming past and gets the footy. Mitchell sends it to open space. Mitchell kicks it. Not sure what he was trying to attempt there, but the ball has changed possession. He picked it up off the ground. Kicked by Marston. Vardy, the better man there, gets boot to high. Drops the mark, and McCrum is awaiting. Shields with the ball. Nice interception. Mitchell gets the ball. Takes it well. Kicks it. 60 seconds to go. The Hawks haven't taken many inside 50 forward marks, and their ability to nail goals on the run is what's keeping them in front of the Eagles. Mitchell by hand. Frawley shoots for goal. Great move to be able to work into an uncontested position. That's a mark. Marston directing the play, sends it outside the 50. He gets boot to the ball. He grabs it. Shuey with the kick. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. He kicks the ball. Lysette having no trouble taking that one. Gaff doesn't waste that opportunity. Sends the ball to open space. Gibson has had plenty of it, Richo. Yes, super work from him in this match, Dennis. West Coast have racked up a high tackle count. But unfortunately, it hasn't made much of an impact on the scoreboard. He handballs it. Mitchell missed the ball. Roughhead marks the ball. 25 metres out. Couldn't ask for much better than this. It's an easy shot here. And looking to add another. Slots it. It's a loss for the Eagles. It's been a good victory for Hawthorne. Final scores are 79 to 66. That's it for this match. Thanks to my co-commentator, Matthew Richardson. It's been a pleasure, Dennis. We'll catch you next time. Bye.